Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and those left of you uh, here in the ballpark in Sylvan Lake, Alberta, Canada. There we are with Sully the Gully down the first baseline after a convincing 17-3 win. What an amazing night. The player of the game sitting next to me, the starting pitcher on opening day. Uh, unbelievable start. We're going to get to uh, speaking about how it must feel on opening day with the Big Bird and everyone else watching. And we just want to say uh, welcome on board to our new sponsor, The Market out of Bentley. We appreciate you and can't wait to bring you behind the scenes and beyond the bases coverage. My name is Joe Whitbread, the public address announcer here at Gulls Field. This is James Brock, the starting pitcher. We're going to come back to James in a moment, but let's roll the highlights of a convincing 17-3 home field and opening day victory. It was a real good start for your Sylvan Lake Gulls. It was a first pitch Double leadoff for Matty Fung, a returning player. The players got a chance to meet the fans. They met a lot of sponsors, of course, season ticket holders, and some of our amazing crew behind the scenes all week long. It is a bit of a whirlwind in the WCBL. Uh, here in this league, the WCBL players come from all parts in uh, collegiate baseball in the United States and throughout Canada. And we'll have a chance to chat with them beyond the bases. More than just baseball, a great uh, inning uh, or two in the middle of the game. It really did lull on. And if you were watching online, there was a lot of rain. So as you notice, the fans started to dwindle here and there. But the players on both teams uh, continued. A little bit of a steadfast baseball uh, healthy. Uh, we, we appreciated just how many stuck around and still are watching us on the big screen here. And we know we we'll have some summer days ahead when June and July come through. The starting pitcher, uh, James Brock, with an incredible effort to uh, lead things off. Uh, six innings pitched, uh, four hits, uh, a run and eight strikeouts that our pal Josh had the K's on the fence. We're going to have a chance to talk to James here shortly as you go through the highlights. Uh, and we'll also go upstairs uh, in a little bit to talk with our play-by-play -play voice, Jim Claggett and color man Kale Clark. They were watching and calling this game, which you'll be able to see all the highlights of, and in repetition on the WCBL's YouTube channel, as well as sylvanlakegulls.com. As we come back to the ballpark down the third base uh, make that the first baseline beyond the bases presented by the market in bentley let's talk to our starting pitcher james uh, congratulations on the opening day victory yeah thank you uh, happy to be here yeah love that you're back this year you and a few returning players we'll get to that shortly but tell us how you felt you played on opening day um you know it's my first time really starting an opening day and uh, a lot of fans in the in the stands so the heart was beating a bit, but um, you know, like once I kind of settled in there in that first inning, got a couple strikeouts, um, feeling feeling really good, and then I guess continued that the rest of the start. Yeah, indeed, and obviously a pitcher can only do the defensive side, and you did a great job at that with uh, eight Ks. You had a lot of offense. You had some run support tonight, and that helps. Yeah, I mean, like new team, a lot of new faces, and um, still getting to know everyone. But um, when when you can put 17 runs on the board, I think it's a uh, it's a successful night. Yeah, and talk about that. New faces uh, in the dugout. Uh, you know, these uh, players, this isn't their first game. It's fans in Sylvan Lake, uh, Alberta, Canada's first chance to see our team. But they come from all parts and uh, different tiers of baseball. Uh, some are skilled rookies and some have been veterans for a while. How do you gel so quickly, if that's even possible, or is that about to happen over the next few weeks? I mean, yeah, we've only all been here for a couple of days, but I mean, everyone's here for the same reason, you know, bring home a WCBL championship. So I think when everyone has that goal in mind, you know, we all gel really fast. Yeah, indeed. There's some returning players. Uh, has someone uh, stood out, even perhaps yourself, a returning veteran uh, who's leading some of the new talent, but also people, as we'll talk about, that are new to Canada? I mean, yeah, we have a couple guys from Panama, but... Um, so that's really cool. And then like Maddie and all the other all guys coming back. So it's good to see like all the new faces from, from really all over the place um, contributing to a win. Yeah, it really is. Uh, fantastic to have so many uh, returnees, but new players as well. It gives us an opportunity, James, to head upstairs and talk to the play-by-play -play crew, Jim Claggett and Kale Clark, watching this game, calling it the first one of the season. Guys, how did you see it from up in your vantage point? 
Well, Joe, like you said, despite the cooler weather, it was a hot start for the Sylvan Lake Gulls in opening night here at Gulls Field. And a lot of gold confetti was just the perfect finish for what the Gulls fans needed here tonight. And Sylvan Lake uh, putting up 17 runs over the Brooks Bombers three. And, and, you know, as we're talking to James Brock down there at field level, I mean, just an incredible start for him. You know, carrying that weight on his shoulders to be the guy to get that start and get that first win for the Sylvan Lake Gulls must feel special for him right that's right we, we talked about how we've seen the evolution of James uh, from last year and he's increased he, he's he's become a pitcher and he's become a very good pitcher and he showed it tonight with eight strikeouts uh, he doesn't overpower anybody but he does outsmart them and that's what the goals are looking for from him and they delivered tonight new faces new baseball new uniforms same old result though Lots of scoring. Well, and depth, too. I mean, we're starting to see a little bit more of this depth on the Sylvan Lake Gulls team. It's early, and we still have a lot of guys still coming up from the States. In fact, 15 players still yet to arrive here in Sylvan Lake. So we're still, you know, got lots to learn from what the Sylvan Lake Gulls team is going to be. But we learned that the new guys, the affiliate guys even, the future of what Sylvan Lake Gulls baseball is going to be like, it's promising. You know what, Coach Jason Chatwood has an abundance of riches at his availability. And and I can't wait to see how he moves the chess pieces across the board. And uh, the big dog in the room, though, I don't say Big L, but Big Buck, we know it's Okotoks. We'll see what happens this year, folks. Yeah, absolutely. Well, the defense was there, but the offense was even hotter here tonight, Joe. And uh, it was an incredible game to watch if you're a Gulls fan. Well, appreciate that. Kale Clark and Jim Claggett upstairs in the broadcast booth. Appreciate all your work, and they're back at it right away, as are you, James. Although it's a rest day for you, the Gulls are back in action right away on Sunday afternoon. Uh, before we ask a, a couple of quick personal questions, wrap up the show for the market in Bentley. Uh, how does uh, your day look when you're not starting tomorrow? Um, I know uh, I know. Uh, Matt Hafe's got something, something for me to do post-throw. Um, but definitely pretty light, gonna be a little sore in the morning for sure. I appreciate the people watching online. If there's a comment section, we'd love to hear from you and we wanna know where you're from. James, tell them where you're from. Uh, Burnaby, BC, um, close to Vancouver. Uh, Go Canucks. Yeah, we knew that was coming, and you're not in the right place for that. And In fact, you and I both don't have uh, bragging uh, rights for that when the Oilers are doing so well here in Alberta. Please comment below. We'd love to know where you're watching from. James, to you and your family, a quick shout-out to anyone who might be watching on our live broadcast tonight. Uh, hi to my grandparents. Hi, Mom and Dad, and uh, Piper, my sister. Um, thanks for watching. All right, and to all the fans watching from the suites, we hope you enjoyed. Please drive home safely, and if you're watching this later in the week, we hope you had a wonderful weekend at Gulls Field. Can't wait to share the rest of the season with you from this beautiful ballpark in Sylvan Lake, Alberta, Canada. My name is Joe Whitbread, and on behalf of the market in Bentley, thanks for watching Beyond the Bases with your Sylvan Lake Gulls.